We got a good lead on Franco. We think he might have taken the baby with him. Yes, it appears the wee one has been spirited off to the Pacific Northwest. Well, great. All right, so you go get Franco and the baby, and you go back to Pentonville with me. You have such beautiful eyes. I shouldn't have questioned Bobby when he showed up with you. But after the terrible things they write about him in the newspaper... <laughs> Don't worry, little Pablo. I'm going to take very good care of you. I'll be a wonderful mom, because that's what you deserve. <laughs> now, let's go see what Astoria has to offer. <laughs> we are on our final approach to Portland, Oregon. Please put your seat back and tray tables in the upright position, and make sure your seatbelt is securely back. I'm sick of Jason too. Whatever happens to me keeps so her behind Franco and Morgan. You check the house that have been purchased in the last 60 to 90 days, you're flying anything. Hey, step away from the gate before I haul him into. What? For what? I'm trying to facilitate an escape, obstruction of justice, hacking into government files. You know, I'll, I'll come up with something. Your accusations are false and baseless. Look, you want to play fast and loose with the law? Okay, there could be prison time for that. Just consider yourself warned. What the hell are you talking about? Spinelli's been trying to help us track Franco down. Why are you trying to protect these guys? You had your shot with Jason in L.A., and you blew it, okay? Franco got away. That's the end of the story. Hey, you know what? Every minute that we spend here doing this diminishes our chances of finding this baby alive. Every minute we spend here gives him another opportunity to run. I'm not running. You know, Dante may be deluded enough to believe you, but I don't. Turn around, you're under arrest. Okay, we're gonna put Sonny's enforcer behind bars, and then Sonny is next. That's the message we need to deliver. This isn't about Sonny! That is why I worry about you, Dante. It's always about Sonny. I thought we were on the same page here, trying to track down a madman. You don't get it. I'm actually looking out for you here. We're, we're talking about a guy who's left a trail of bodies down Route 66. He tried to blow up the woman I love, and now he's arbitrarily kidnapped an infant, all in the name of playing this game with Jason to impress him, which means we need Jason to catch him. You know, that's one theory, and here's another. Why don't you give all the information you have over to the feds and get back to your real job? Well, I, I'm doing my job. Oh, not from where I'm standing, you're not. Look, your father's been running his town for years, okay? And with his main enforcer behind bars, then he's going to lose his main man, and then if he's smart, Sonny will shut it down. No more wars, no more Corinthos organization, and no more victims of violence. And so what if a baby dies, right? You know, if you don't stop fighting this, you're going to just confirm what everybody already thinks about you. All right, that you're soft on Sonny. Uh, may the jackal point out that an innocent baby has been kidnapped and is in dire need of Stone Cold's expertise? Shut up, Hackett boy. No, no, Spinelli's right. He uncovered evidence that shows that Franco covered his tracks with a legal paper trail to make it look like he adopted the kid. All right, good. So get that information over to the feds. Meanwhile, Jason's run out of time. Come on. Oh, wait, wait, what the hell is this? If the zealot of justice insists that Stone Cold is reincarcerated. Are you kidding me? Somebody has got to do something. It's too late. Don't worry, honey. You can visit your boyfriend in Pentonville. your boyfriend back if we're gonna find that baby. Don't get too comfortable. You'll be processed before your ass could even warm that chair. You know, it's a good thing that you didn't try to run because had you, I would have hunted you down like a rabid dog. Are we done? We're done. No, you're done. All that's left to do is file the paperwork and then put a fork in you because that's how done you are. And then I'm going to put you in Pentonville so you can rot. And, you know, it's just a matter of time before before Sonny does something stupid and careless. And, uh, and when he does, I'll be waiting. And then maybe you guys could end up being roommates. Got Morgan's transfer paperwork. Yeah, Jason's on his way back to Pentonville. What happened? Ronnie decided it was more important to take a hard line to Sonny instead of finding this missing baby. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I know. Look, I'm trying to stall, but do you think you can get up to Astoria and see if you can find something on Franco? No, I'm already here in Astoria. I'm on the ground. It's a nice little town. Emphasis on the word little. But I could use some help. Call Spinelli. He's been working on it. I don't see Spinelli cooperating with 
the man. Especially with Jason about to land back in prison. Remind him that it's a baby's life on the line here. You know, for once, I think we're all on the same side. See, here's the ugly truth about you. You will kill again. But at least if you're in Pattonville, you could go after your own kind. You know, like that lowlife Carter. His, uh, his murder still in the books is unsolved. You do know that, right? You see, maybe some con will want to you know, strike a deal with us and name you as the killer. Look, let me just give you a little piece of advice, okay? I know you don't play well with others, but you might want to like to get along in prison. You got to like join a group, you know, like, like a family of sorts. I don't like crowds. <laughs> you know, I can tell, uh, I can tell your return to prison is going to be a, a very good adventure. I can't wait to see how it shakes out. Instead of running your mouth, why don't you do something useful and find Franco? Oh, no, we're going to find Franco. Don't you worry about that. But in the meantime, um, your paperwork is done. So, adios, tough guy. Dietrich, where's the transfer papers for Morgan? What do you mean? I put them on the desk. Did you lose something? Yeah, I can't uh, move Morgan without his transfer papers. <laughs> Why don't you tell me where they went? You know, you should just keep much better track of important documents like that. No, 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 the Jekyll cannot be interrupted. Jacqueline McCall, leave a message. Beep. Spinelli, wait, hey. I know it's you. Come on. It's Lucky Spencer. I need your help, okay? Yes, of course you do. The Jackal is always expected to provide prompt assistance, but when Stone Cold was dragged off in shackles, his so-called allies in law enforcement were conspicuously absent, yourself included. Yeah, well, a baby's life is at stake. Yes, it is. And the person who could have... Look, Jason is on his way back to Pentonville. That's exactly why we have to work together. I can do. Look, I'm not the enemy here, okay? Franco is. He's got my newborn nephew, and if you refuse to help me and something happens to Aiden, you're gonna have to live with that. You make a compelling, if emotionally manipulative, case. Look, <clears throat> I'm in Astoria, Oregon right now, and I have no idea where to start this search. I need some guidance. Come on, man. I mean, what would you do if this was your own child? Um, 227 Larchmont Lane. A house was recently purchased there. It was paid for by a wire transfer. Okay. Larchmont. Uh, was that a, a cash transfer? The title is in the name of Karen Robertson. Karen. That's, uh, it's Franco's mother's name, isn't it? And Franco's given name is Robert. Robert Son. It's the same kind of stupid game Franco loves to play. All right, I owe you. Thanks. Yes, you do. Find your nephew. Bring him home to his mother and father. 